Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all kinds of cool facts about the world around you. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at an amazing little creature. Some people love them. They send some people running. But spiders are really important to the environment. Let's get started and learn all about spiders. Spiders are invertebrates and belong to the arachnid family. This is the same family that scorpions, mites, and ticks belong to. The family is really old, dating back almost 2 million years. Today, there are more than 30,000 known species of spiders. Arachnids are not insects. While they have an exoskeleton, like other bugs, that's about where the similarities end. They are different to insects because they have two body segments, and not three. They have eight legs, and not six. Spiders also have no wings, like flies or bees. And no antenna, like ants. Some species of spider have six eyes, while others have eight. Spiders are generally nearsighted, and use the hairs on their body to sense vibrations and find their way around. Arachnids also cannot chew. Instead, they inject digestive enzymes into their prey using their fangs, and then suck up the digested goo. The name spider comes from an old English word, spinin, which means to spin. This is because most spiders create webs of fine sticky silk to catch their prey. The silk is produced in the spider's body, and comes out of spinnerets at the tip of their abdomen, as fine threads. A spider doesn't stick to its own web because it's covered in oil. Depending on the species, spider silk can be stretchy, sticky, or dry. But all spider silk is very very strong. Scientists say it is stronger than Kevlar, which stops bullets. And tensile steel, which is what bridge cables are made of. Spiders will use their silk as a drag line to help them get back home. Like a bungee rope. To help them climb. As a drag line for building webs. When forming egg sacs. Or for wrapping their prey. Did you know that all spiders can make silk? But not all spiders spin webs. Some, like the funnel web spider, will line a tunnel with silk and lay threads like a trip wire to catch their prey. When hunting, a spider will bite the tangled prey and inject venom to paralyze it. All spiders have venom, but only a few species are toxic to people. The spider will then wrap their prey in silk to store for later while it digests. Spiders are predators and eat many types of bugs, as well as other spiders, which makes them really important to healthy gardens and ecosystems. Some large species of spider can even eat larger prey like frogs, lizards, small birds, and mice. Spiders have their own predators too. They are eaten by birds, reptiles, fish, and other spiders. A gruesome enemy of the spider is a spider wasp. It stings the spider so it is paralyzed and drags it into a burrow. The wasp then lays her egg on the spider so the baby has food when it hatches. Speaking of babies, spiders are oviparous, which means they hatch from eggs. A male spider is often much smaller than a female spider, and mating is dangerous business. If the male is not careful, the female will catch and eat him. He gets her attention by gently tapping on her web and carefully approaching. If mating is successful, a female can lay up to 1,000 eggs, which are protected in a covering of silk. Some spiders will carry the egg sac with them, while other species will hide the egg sac somewhere safe. After two to three weeks, the eggs will hatch and spiderlings will emerge. Their mothers do not look after them, and they have to fend for themselves. It's dangerous being a spider, especially since so many people are afraid of them. But there's no need. Spiders are more afraid of you, and will run away if they get the chance. Let's look after spiders and let them look after our environment. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson on our 8-legged friends, visit Kids Connect for all kinds of facts and fun worksheets on topics like beetles, butterflies, worms, bees, and more. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.